Hello, everybody. Uh, this is DFS Chan coming to you here to talk about the uh, two games late for June 20th. Um, we've had a very busy weekend of League of Legends DFS slates with LPL, LCK, and LEC and LCS all back in uh, back in play. But tomorrow, Monday morning, uh, we only have two games for China. Um, so yeah, let's dive in and then we'll have more uh, busy full game slates on starting on Tuesday, Wednesday to uh, Thursday and then, you know, Wednesday through Sunday, basically. So it should be exciting. But for Monday and Tuesday, we're only going to get these. So two game slates. So it's, pre it's a pretty straightforward slate, like I said on, on my tweet uh, when I posted the confirmed starters for these teams um omg versus jdg um i think omg now has everybody back in place uh back and forward rotation their usual starters with cream in the middle but jdg has been lights out in my opinion for the summer split jdg has been statistically but also um like visually um, just watching them, uh, they appear to be the best team or be in the best form amongst all the teams in China. So I fully expect JDG to win this series, um, whether it's going to be two to zero, two to one. Um, the, st st the statistics point toward two to zero um, JDG winning. But like I said, with Cream back in the lineup, and then as long as Abel and Cold can match up okay against Hopin missing in the bottom lane, I, I believe Cream can be better than Yagao, in my opinion. Um, Cream has shown some upside in the past as a good skilled player who can have a higher ceiling than Yagao. But Yagao has been pretty consistent. Like this, this whole split, they've played two series, I think. And he's been really the, the rock for that team. And then 369 has been all right. And Shanji, I'm not too scared. But Obviously, Kanavi is a better jungler than Aki, Aki. So I think that's where probably is going to be the mismatch there. I actually would not would not mind captaining Kanavi today um, for any GPPs, even if you're playing with like the underdog in RA um, in the next matchup. But um, I like JDG to win this series. And JDG has scored very well. Um, they have a very high... Uh, fast kill upside or kill pace and higher kill upside than anybody in the league. As you see here, they're sitting at 0.89, even though they've played eight games total. That's really impressive. So JDG plays really fast. Um, so that also translates to if you think OMG is going to win in an upset for some reason, um, OMG will probably be the primary long stack that you want to use. And then in the next matchup, UP versus Rare Adam. Uh, this is a tough matchup for both teams, I think. Um, I know Ultra Prime, uh, I was looking at the match history here that um, Rare Adam, I actually had some high hopes for them, but it to me at least, it looked like between picks and bans and their champ selection and all that, um, that they have struggled a little bit to adapt the, the newest uh, patch and newest current current uh, meta in the league, uh, in League of Legends. Like you see, you saw some of those champions that they selected against uh, anyone's legend, and they lost two to zero there. And then they uh, beat OMG, but it was a tough, hard fought matchup in my opinion. Um, I know OMG really should have had that one, but like this also kind of shows me that um rare adam is getting better but i don't know if they're quite there yet to be in the top half of the standings like they were for the spring split um but um to me like the problem has problems have been i boy and yuyanja like the bottom lane has have not played well like they've always gotten behind during the laning phase and they lost they lose the priority in the bottom lane and they give up dragons they give up a lot of the other objectives uh around you know in the jungle like in their jungle so to me that is like like a problem that they can probably easily fix as long as i boy and yuyan just form come back come back up um but i don't know if that's going to happen against ultra prime today because 
Ultra Prime, on the other hand, I wanted to show you their, um, well, first of all, anyone's legend is good. They're not, they're no joke this year. Um, they um, have what it takes, in my opinion, to be, to finish in top half. So I, I like, that's not a good loss, but, you know, I can see how Error Adam lost due to zero there because anyone's legend is good. Um, where is Ultra Prime? All right, there you go. I do wanted to show you who Ultra Prime lost to. Um, they've lost to... This is from spring. Where's Ultra Primes? Okay, they lost to. Oh, they beat OMG. Okay, that's impressive. Um, and then they lost to BLG. BLG has been a pretty good team. Um, Yeah, BLG lost to uh, BLG is not a good team because they lost to anyone. Like I said, anyone's legend is a pretty good team. So I wouldn't knock them for that. BLG, anyone's legend. BLG is bad. So I think Ultra Prime might be bad too. I don't know. This is a tough, tough to look at. All right, and this, I think it's gonna come down to the laning phase. Um, Hacker versus Leanne in the jungle. Let me see something here. All right, Ultra Prime plays a little bit faster. Laning phase, jungle, where Adam dominates that. Let's see, Ultra Prime. I wanted to see one more thing and then I will make a prediction. Sorry, guys. Just going through the analysis in my head. I'm going to, I think I'm going to go rare Adam, guys. Um, I think Rare Adam's form is going back up. Um, I like Rare Adam to win here today. Um, I know I think people are on, on Ultra Prime's back after their, you know, win against OMG. But Rare Adam actually, God, this is pissing me off because it's not showing me on Oracle Elixir. It's like lagging out. All right, they beat BLG, like I said, or OMG, and then, yeah, I think I'm going to go Rare Adam, guys. Um, I think Leanne's going to do okay. I mean, they're not, these guys are not that good. I mean, they're okay. Um, Zoom, Cube, Cube's going to be all right. Strive, Crying, Crying's been playing all right. So let's drive iBoy. I think it's going to come down to the bottom lane. Like I said, iBoy, Yanja have not been playing well. Um, until the last like game three, I think he they played okay um, against Doc, uh, against OMG, but it, it, yeah, I think I'm gonna go rare at him, guys. Just based on the fact that Leanne has been a good jungler, much better jungler than Hacker, I think, just based on statistics. I like Leanne uh, to control the jungle, and then I think, like I said, in every other position, I think it's gonna be a wash, in my opinion. So. So I'll probably go JDG, RA, um, and then JDG, UP as well, Ultra Prime. But JDG has been, like I said, more bloody that game. 
So I, I'd probably get a long stack from the OMG JDG game. And yeah, I mean, for prize picks, uh, you know, I would definitely go with just based on this matchup. Hmm. Let me see who dies a lot on ONG. I think that's very important to see. Cream has been dying a lot. But only two games. Okay. Abel has not been dying a lot. Yeah, that's interesting. Top. So I would probably go. Yagao. Yagao and Kanabi for the. Yagao and Kanabi for the over kills thresholds, whatever there's are on prize picks um, for those betters out there. Um, Cause I think JDG will win, but it looks like Abel and Abel doesn't really die that much. Um, and then top lane as well. Um, so I'll probably focus on the jungle and may and mid, mid laner here, Yagao and Kanavi and Kanavi, you know, gets a lot of kill share for sure for that team. So Kanavi's um, kill share, you know, will be great. And I think if they win by a lot, which I think they will, um, they're going to, those two guys will be in good position to get kills. But anyway, so like I said, if you guys have any questions, um, let me know. Um, I can be reached at, at DFS Chan on Twitter, YouTube, Discord, at TrueDFS. Um, please hit the like button down below if you like the video. Um, and then also subscribe to our channel if you want to watch videos about other sports. Thanks, everybody. Good luck out there.